Time for a new RC unboxing. This is an FMS F35 64 millimeter Lightning V2. And not only is it a Lightning V2, this is the F35 V2 by FMS. So that means that it's all new foam, all new motor, all new ESC. It's been greatly improved over the original. I've never had an RC jet before, but uh, I think my flying skills are good enough that I can handle it. it has a wingspan of 27 inches, overall length of 37.8 inches. It's around 920 grams. It, ha it comes with a brushless 2840 kilovolt motor. Uh, although it says also KV3900, so actually I think it's a 3900 kilovolt motor. A new 40 amp ESC that's also new with the V2. Uh, it comes with five servos. It takes a 3S LiPo. Now I don't know how well you can actually see here the design of it. But let's just get it into the box here and take a look at it. It should be pretty good. F35 Lightning. All right, now I did get a little bit of a deal on this. I mean, essentially it's the same price that you can get from discount online retailers, but it was an open box at my local hobby store, Great Hobbies. It's a PMP aircraft, so that means that it just needs a receiver. It's, uh, I don't know why they just call, don't call it an ARF. It's, it's almost ready to fly, but you have to add your own receiver. So it is a, uh, what is it, it EPO foam? Whatever the better foam is, it has the better foam. That's a new part of the V2 design. It also has the new brushless motor with an 11 blade ducted fan. It also has bolt-on wings with a carbon fiber strut. So anyway, this will be my first jet. You can see the servos here, FMS branded micro size servos. The only thing that kind of concerns me about this plane is that it does not have a rudder. The rudder operation is for the front nose wheel only. We also have a cockpit here with the, with the pilot, so that's pretty cool. Here's one of the wings. Fairly big aileron on it, that's nice. Gonna give you a rough sense of what it's gonna look like. I'm going to assemble it and give you a flight later on, but just to give you a quick idea of what it looks like. Is this a rudder? That has a control horn on it, so it must be an L of. Here's the carbon fiber brace. And we've got the nose wheel package, some control horns, and that's it. The rest is just foam. Oh, there's also the nose cone. The very front, the nose cone. Just gonna do a very quick mock-up just so you can get a sense of what it looks like. And then we'll do the actual proper full build. Maybe you have to glue these on, the rear, uh, the rear stabilizers. So I'll just have to set that there, give you a sense of what that looks like. You must need to use uh, foam glue to build this thing. All right, so besides not having the uh, the elevator glued on. That's a pretty close representation to what it's gonna look like. This should be pretty awesome in the air. So that should that's a pretty accurate representation of what it's gonna look like when it's built. I'm excited to get it all put together and give you guys a maiden flight. Like I said, the only thing that kind of concerns me about this aircraft is it does not have real rudder when you're in the air. So it's only uh, aileron and elevator. So it's a bank and yank airplane. So that means I won't be able to go up and do my kickovers, whatever, what are the Kololos, Immelmans? Detail wise, I'm very happy with how the aircraft looks. Really cool looking aircraft. I like all the detail and the foam. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too hard to see in the sky. Yeah, that's gonna be a really cool airplane get it built and next time you'll see it it'll be ready for the maiden flight okay the f-35 is ready for its maiden flight it is on and running so we have aileron control we have elevator control and we even have throttle Here we go, first flight. Come on, take a 
Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tico! <laughs> that was barely enough room. I think there was a fairly significant crosswind there, and it looks like it needs a lot of runway to take off. The, the wind turned you at the beginning. It did, yeah. Cause now it's blowing straight at my face this way. Good thing you uh, you cleared the the curb. Oh yeah, I was <laughs> I was like, do I let off? No, I don't have enough room to stop. There's no brakes. I just keep power full power. I did get damage on that first takeoff. Hit touched the very edge. Oh well, that won't matter too much. Hopefully. Ready? Whoa! Had a big cor torque turf to it. Turns one way a lot better than the other. Which way did that go? Take off! Ah! Uh. Take off! Ah! Uh. Man, it really doesn't have as much power as I was hoping for. I think we're gonna have to try hand launch. You that made to wheel? It's, uh, it's superficial. It just ripped out of the foam, so I just gotta glue it back in. Uh, okay. But yeah, it just needs glue. So nothing serious. So nothing serious. So nothing serious. No, I chewed up the edge of the wing again, but. But no, I can hold it. <laughs> if you're not, you enough speed? I guess. No, it's difficult. The wheels are. Uh, I guess. You can't feel it, the uh, it doesn't steer. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, also, I'm trying to rotate it up, so once you... the ground, the front wheel, and then you cannot steer. Yeah. Right. And you don't have a rudder. Yeah, you have no air, no air yaw control at all. <laughs> Get the bend on my front wheel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's okay, we're recording. Okay. Ready, I'm going. That's full throttle. Oh! oh. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to run. <laughs> that was full throttle and full elevator, just nosedive straight in the ground. I'm going to run. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's full throttle. No. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to take it home and repair it and stuff. Yeah. Not enough speed. Yeah, not enough speed. Too bad. Yeah, so there's there's a pretty stiff, uh, well there was, now there's not, but there was a pretty stiff wind coming and I still didn't have enough airspeed. So yeah, so much for being a nice, beautiful jet, but I figured something like that might happen. And that's why I buy, you know, I'm not buying $500 ones, I'm buying $100 ones, so. Whatever, it's repairable. It's not it's not totally dead. It just doesn't look as nice anymore. That's that's totally fixable. It's all fixable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, get the glue out. <laughs>